Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. First port of call of the day, changing my baby, getting him in some fresh clothing. Exactly, Ralph, exactly. He's got a little legging jumper combo on, not gonna lie. Would, would wear that myself. <laughs> Today I am off to London, so basically Mark is getting himself ready for the day whilst I look after the little man and then we will swap. We really want to make that slow cook turkey chilli uh, dinner, um, so I think I might go downstairs. Yeah! He's wondering who the hell I'm talking to. I might get started on that because that saves Mark a job. Um, so I think I'm going to scoop him up and go chop some sweet potatoes. What an extremely flattering angle. I'll link a similar recipe down below, but basically the only things that you need to chop are onions and sweet potatoes. So actually this shouldn't take me that long to do. <laughs> it's half six in the morning. <laughs> I mean, the smell of turkey chili isn't exactly what you fancy at half six in the morning, but I'll be very happy later on that I made this now. Here he is, the tag team in action. <laughs> the turkey chili is good to go and it is what, 703. <clears throat> oh my gosh. It looks good though. It's oh, gonna yeah. look even oh, better later on. You know what? It's actually making my stomach rumble. Oh my god, it's about every time. Rust even too. even even, yeah, even at <laughs> seven in the morning, I'm still like, oh that's <laughs> I could eat it now. There was lots of comments on the last vlog asking for like a Mark gardening update. We might have to save that for the next vlog because I'm out and about today. Um, but there are updates. It's been the long weekend. Mark's been out there doing some gardening. We have garlic in, where's my finger there? This is garlic growing. Uh, we have some Swiss chard. We have a bit of space here. Not really sure what to plant there. Ideas welcome. And then on the left hand side, and there's some shallots under that webbing, whatever it's called. And also we've got uh, tomatoes growing up in the roof. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's definitely an update there. Uh, I will fill you in more in the next vlog. Okay, I now have about five minutes to finish off my makeup. Um, I've done my hair. I did put my base on because um, it involved me needing to like go wash my hands and go a bit back and forth. The NARS one, I really, really like it. Um, if you missed my last vlog, I'm pretty sure I put it on in there. I'll put it up in the corner for you. We had such a lovely weekend. Today is Tuesday and it's technically the first working day of the week because it was Easter Bank holiday weekend. And it was just really lovely. We were so sociable. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of hard when you first have a baby because you are just so, so exhausted that the thought of doing any socializing is just too tiring and a lot to take on, especially if you're like hosting people in your home. Um, but this weekend, oh yeah, everyone round. It was so nice. I'm still not there with overnight <laughs> hosting. Um, I think that's because I just love my evenings so much. It really is a time just to like be an actual potato on the sofa. Mark and I have not had social plans in the evening for probably a good three months. But I'm kind of okay with that. It was it was just so lovely to have people around. My grandparents came around, so that's Ralph's great grandparents. We had our friends around who have a baby like the same age as Ralph. So my auntie, my uncle, my parents, my friend. Oh. I saw a lot of people and it was just, it was really, really lovely. The weather in the UK was just so good and it makes all the difference. It got me so excited for summer with Ralph. I think it's gonna be really fun. You know what? I'm not basically almost done. It's taken three minutes. <laughs> this is very much speedy makeup, like makeup light. I think I might throw some bits in a bag just so I can do a quick touch up later on. I'm not sure what bag I'm gonna take with me, but I might throw it in a beauty blender, the Dior concealer. I haven't done my brows. Oh, done. Beauty blender, concealer, maybe my bronzer because it has a mirror, a bit of a bronzer brush, maybe an eyeshadow brush because I can always dip that into my bronzer. A little bit more mascara and maybe a lip balm. That should be enough. So my new Cocoon Club rental came and it's the Loewe puzzle, but the Hobo bag version is just... It is so nice. Um, so I'm basically going to decan everything from my puzzle into that. Let's just get it all out. <laughs> okay, keys, AirPods. 
Just like the puzzle, it's got a good little pocket down the back. Do I need my shades? Maybe. Okay, then I've got my phone. Oh, still loads of space in there. Cute little Chanel pouch I'm gonna put my makeup in. Oh, perfect. And then the camera I'm recording on now, packed. Okay, this is the base layer that I went for. So it's an Arquette crew neck t-shirt with the Totem Arles fluid trousers. I think I found a good high street Jeep for these. I have a feeling they're from Jigsaw. I'll link them down below for you. And then I went for the Converse. Number one, because they're really comfy. I'm probably gonna be doing quite a lot of walking today. Number two, it's due to rain. Ew, reminder, I need to go get an umbrella and put it in my bag. Then because it's due to rain, I thought I would do the Totem Trench over the top, my little Cocoon Club number. Oh my God, I, oh gosh, I really like it. That's always, that's the bad thing. Like you don't want to give them back. This is just a rental. Sad times, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the slouch in it. And the length is so nice under the arm. There you go. Ready to roll. Time to say goodbye to the boys. Okay, I've made it. I'm actually a bit early, which is really nice. I'm like, ooh. Where shall I go? I think I might go to Liberty. Just fancy a peruse. What a treat. So, let's go there. Street, Space and K on the way to my meeting as well. <laughs> but no, alas, I've just bought a Loewe candle. And I think that's me done for the day. I bought the um, Cypress Balls one and the lady behind the tool said it was their best seller, along with tomato leaf, which actually, they were the two that I was picking between. They were very springy, very fresh, um, but yeah. I think that's my, <laughs> that's my shopping dump for the day. And I'm early to my first meeting. Oh my gosh, I'm just on it today. My first meeting of the day is that caravan. Ooh, you might have seen, um, Lily did a grill last time we had a meeting here. Um, and me and Lily are meeting with our agency managers today. So that is what we're doing. Right, I'm actually quite sickish. <laughs> Look at me, Lily, I'm vlogging on my phone. Yeah, what is this? I couldn't really fit my um, camera in my bag. <laughs> So I thought I'd just do it on my phone. So here we go. Bag yeah, true. <laughs> true. I just went and got my nails done there at the drive-by in Hershison's. Um, my manicurist lasted really well, actually. I think it lasted about a week, which is like the time it says on the website. Um, but I had a bit of time between meetings and I thought, I know what I can do. I can go get my nails done. And it was lovely and peaceful and wonderful. Honestly, drive-by do the best manicures and pedicures. I learned my lesson last time I went to townhouse and it just wasn't the same, it was not the same. Um, if ever the drive-by on Mortimer Street is fully booked, I highly recommend going to the Hershison's one. And the lady was called Anastasia and she did such a good job. Let me show you my nails, I got the Alex mix. I made a little TikTok or a reel, I can't decide where I'm gonna put it. Um, if you wanna see it, I'm sure it'll be up by the time I put this video up. Um, but yeah, I will give you a little close up. Oh yeah, look at these, beautiful. And now I'm off for a meeting with TikTok, which is very cool. Makes me feel very cool. I'm going to Mortimer Street Kitchen. Nice place, kind of like good vibes, chill vibes. I'm very parched. That is all I have to update you on. So I am home. My second meeting of the day went really well. I have to insert a little clip here. Um, <laughs> the girl that I met literally were wearing the same outfit. <laughs> it was quite funny. What can I say? Converse, all black outfit, a beige little number on top. It's a really solid <laughs> spring outfit choice, um, but it went really well. And I have to say, I have caught hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of trains over my lifetime. Like I commuted to and from 
Brighton to London for years and then obviously like going back and forth over the last like what five six years I've caught a lot of trains today was the closest I have come to missing my station they were saying like the station is and I, ha I hadn't even computed that I was already home I was so focused on my phone I was on the film app like making a little clip of um getting my nails done oh I just love them so much um yeah I was like oh my gosh I literally picked up all my stuff and just like had to sort myself out on the side of the platform like it was that has never ever happened to me before and I always used to think sometimes Mark would like miss a stop and I'd be like how but now I get it. And yeah, I've worked out that actually this setup of meetings just works really well because it means I get to come home and still spend a couple of hours with Ralph before he goes to sleep, which is just really nice. And I'm on like backup duty tonight for bedtime, bath time. Like one of us is the uh, primary person and the other one is kind of the extra pair of hands. I'm the extra pair of hands tonight. Then when I think Ralph is asleep, I might work out. I have to admit, I have not worked out in a hot minute. I did a vlog back maybe like January time and it's when Ralph was just sleeping in a little bit longer in the mornings and um yeah I had a bit more time in the mornings basically I was like I wake up before everyone else and work out and I think I managed that for about two weeks before I was like this is crazy <laughs> and then since then I haven't worked out at all um but I've got like the okay for my physio and all that kind of stuff like everything is good I've got some abdominal separation um and so she has given me visualizations and like techniques on how to breathe like kind of when I'm exercising when I'm doing ab core work um so I can help to kind of bring those back together um and she was just like just do anything like anything is better than nothing um so I signed up to fluid form Pilates I uh, consider me influenced seriously I've seen it everywhere <laughs> on my Instagram um, but it looked like they did a really comprehensive postnatal workout schedule like basically four month long program so I'm gonna give that a go my body is so different right now in terms of how I feel like connected to it I almost feel a bit numb in like some areas on my stomach it's really strange it's like not connected in the same way so I really look forward to the hope for me fingers crossed who knows this will probably last two weeks again I'm on my second day I'm not getting too far ahead of myself but I definitely need to add some kind of toning strengthening session into my week somewhere um they're all 20 minutes and they only require like a Pilates ball and some resistance bands I already have resistance bands anyway so yeah, I might try and do one of those before dinner because for dinner, it's already sorted. Love that. Um, but yeah, I better go back to my second pair of hand duties. BRB. I did it. I worked out. I really didn't think I had the energy for that. But you know what? It was 20 minutes. And before you know it, I looked at the time and it was like 20 past seven. I thought, that is so fine. It's now 20 to eight and we are finally eating the slow cooked chili that we put on this morning at 7 a.m there you go dinner sorted dessert sorted because i stopped off my ben's cookies on the way home and this is our gigantic chili that we will be eating for the rest of the week because i forgot to order a gusto i think i'm gonna leave this one here because i feel like i have rambled on for long enough um but hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog sorry so much if it's been on my phone i just keep forgetting to grab my camera that's all the way upstairs <laughs> And I don't have the energy to retrieve it, so I hope this has been okay. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon for a brand new video. Bye.